Mr. Finney. Something I can do for you, Mr. Matthews? Um, yeah. Uh, actually wanted to talk to you about summer school. What about it? Okay. Um, <clears throat> you know the tests I've been taking where, you know, suddenly it looked like I was doing so much better and it was too good to be true? Was it? Okay. Okay, I feel better. Thanks. <laughs> Chair. I cheated, Mr. Feeney. I had the answers to the test written on my hand. And you only managed an A minus? I sneezed off a couple of the answers. <laughs> All right. Why did you do this, Mr. Matthews? I don't know. I, I really wanted to go to Europe this summer, and I guess I saw my whole trip slipping away. That's superficial, Mr. Matthews. Perhaps it's something a little deeper? <laughs> There is no deeper with me, Mr. Feeney. I'm not a good student. Just an average guy who can get by in a nice smile. Eh? I'm never gonna get an A, never gonna make the honor roll. That's who I am. Might as well just accept it. I have. The only thing that limits you, Mr. Matthews, is your laziness. I mean, you're just looking for an excuse to never get the grades that I know you're capable of getting. I'm not capable, and they're just grades. Just grades. Oh, well. I mean, it's just Europe. And they're just girls. And it's just a beach. Unless you happen to know that on that beach, in June of 1944, 150,000 troops landed and began the liberation of Europe. So that 50 years later, those girls could run around on that beach in freedom. I think the question, Miss Hart, is how could you do this to him? I didn't think he could pass the test. Oh, why not? You see no potential in him as a student? I just don't think he's the student type. I see. And are you the teacher type? Or the type that just writes people off? It doesn't mean that I didn't like you. Well, you certainly don't respect him. Well, this is what I get for selecting a pretty girl to be a teaching assistant. Excuse me? Oh, you resent that? Hmm? Because growing up with a pretty face, you had to work twice as hard to be taken seriously? I should think you, more than most, would want to help this young man have his chance at being taken seriously. It's all coming in fire. I don't write people off, Mr. Matthews. You're a good teacher, Mr. Feeney. Yes, and you're smarter than you look. I look forward to working with you in summer school. Yeah. It'll be a good summer. 